and welcome to All Creator Tools. I am your host, Colsey, and today we're going to be taking a look at a tool called Speech Chat. Now, this is a tool that appeared in our top 10 list of tools of 2024, and it's also a tool that I use personally myself and I find very useful. So effectively, Speech Chat is just another way to interact and view and integrate your chat into your stream, into your content. So here we are on Speech Chat. Speech Chat is a very, very simple looking tool. Uh, and effectively, what we have here is another way to view your chat. Now, just viewing your chat is not the most important thing that we can do here. More important than that is the added features that Speech Chat allow us to do. And specifically for me as a YouTube streamer, it has a very important feature which was missing from YouTube streaming, which I did have on Twitch through a different tool, which we might cover another time. But it brings it to YouTube and I found that very useful. So I will go over that and I will tell you about that specific thing. But there's a few things we can do here. So speech chat for starters is very easy to log into. You can log into it via multiple platforms. I log in via my Google Drive and I have connected my YouTube to it. So when I'm streaming on YouTube, uh, I can have my chat here and my chat can be here and it can do all the things special little things that speech chat can do uh, but obviously you can connect your twitch as well we'll take a look at a, at a few of the things that speech chat can do so speech chat here we go if we go control panel here we'll see these are our controls again there's not a huge amount of stuff but the things that they do do they do well and it is useful things to have so you don't have to have a million different options for something to be very very useful so here we have the theme uh alternate row color just makes it easier when you're visualizing the chat that they're alternating so you can differentiate them uh, platform logo on message again if you have both youtube and twitch open having a little platform logo on the message can just help uh, to differentiate what chat you're you're reading from specifically but it can put them together effectively so if you're multi-streaming you can get both chats in one place timestamps uh user profile picture display event messages display notice messages we'll get into those system messages as well chat fade Again, depending on how long you want your chat to appear on the screen for you and always scroll to the most recent message. Pretty self-explanatory. Those are the very, very general basic uh, options that you have, but we'll go more into the, the voice options. So a big part of speech chat, as you might be able to tell from the name, speech chat is that you can have uh, text to speech, basically. So every message that comes through here can be text to speech and can be spoken to you in your ears which uh for some people is very very useful now personally for me i find that quite distracting and i would be just i'd forget what i'm concentrating on on the game or whatever and i'd just be listening uh, i'm not very good at multitasking but for some people if you want speech chat uh if you want text to speech then this is a great way to do it now you can you can pause it if you don't fancy it for that moment or if you're only doing it for a certain amount of time it's very easy to just switch on and off as you go uh each user will speak with a different voice pretty cool personality so each user has a bit of a different voice to differentiate them which is nice also switch to english voice for asian language voices only fair enough uh, you can pick your preferred voice so we have a bunch of these options here and you can scroll down these are the options mine is just left on microsoft george pronunciation of your name very useful as well people often say my name wrong my name is pronounced colsey but people pronounce it wrong and all the time and i know that i find pronouncing people's usernames very difficult sometimes uh so it's cool that you're able to like type in phonetically what your voice is voice to your pronounced name same as preferred voice and voice to pronounce pronounced user's name i have also set to the same as the preferred voice which is microsoft george but you can change those if you want to do that i don't use this specific well i kind of do use this for speech but i also kind of don't use this for speech and i'll show you why so if we go into chat this is how we can set the different speech formats and settings for chat. So you can see here that my speech format just says ding, just says the word ding. So it tells you here these are the available keywords and this is what speech chat will read out to you. So you can have the username, the message, you can have, you know, you could type in so-and-so uh, -so username says message. You could have it like that. You could just have username then message. It will just read the username and the message. So what I have to set to though, is I have this set to just say the word ding. So Microsoft George will just say ding in my ears and I have this so that stream can't hear it. Just says ding in my ears 
uh, that just notifies me that somebody has sent a message in chat and reminds me to have a look at chat. I might be in a, in a tense moment in the game, I might be busy doing something, and I just need that little reminder of ding. He literally just says ding. I used to be able to have this on Twitch with a different tool that would play a sound effect that was a ding sound effect. So I couldn't have that here on speech chat. So I just have him say the word ding at me. That's what I use it for. But like I said, it is for reading out the messages from your viewers to you, which I think is a really cool feature to have. And it does add this extra level of integration of your audience into the stream itself. That's not the only thing you can do here though. So we can we can just do we can just do messages. We can look at whispers. We can display whispers. We can read whispers. Uh, that would be more specifically for Twitch rather than YouTube because YouTube doesn't have whispers. I'm sure you figured that out. Filters. We can have the reading of emoticons, reading of numbers, symbols, uh, numbers and usernames, symbols and usernames. Read messages that start with an exclamation mark. Those will be more of your your Twitch controls so if you want you know if people want to see what game you're playing uh, exclamation mark game is quite a common one that people use you probably don't want to have those read out but if you do want to have those read out you can uh, these are options that i have not touched but stop reading uh, the message after this tag okay so you can have this so it stops reading the message after the tag uh, and you can also have forced text to speech you can have that as exclamation mark speech Again, more things you can play around with and set. And of course you have a keyword filter so you can mute keywords and you can decide what keywords and stuff you do or do not want to have in your text speech. Uh, we also have events here. So again, this is depending on what platform you're using will depend on which one specifically is being used. Welcoming someone that comes to the chat. Now I don't have this on. I normally have this on volume zero because I don't want to be notified just because somebody's in the chat. I more want to be notified when they chat. If they're just lurking. I don't want to bother them. So uh, it's an option there. But yet yeah, you can have this be read out. You can have them welcomed just as they turn up to the stream. You can have them be welcomed and it be read out on stream, which is pretty nice. Uh, and for this thing, you can actually set an audio file, which a little bit annoying that I can't do that for the voice, but I understand. I'm kind of using it in a bit of a, a bit of a sideways way that maybe is not the norm way to use speech chat. Uh, you can also have it on follow. So this is on YouTube. This is a subscriber, but on Twitch it's follow. They're the same thing. Uh, it's again, very much the same thing. Uh, you can have uh, post a message to chat. You can have the message read out loud and you can change the message format here for you. Uh, hosting, rating and subscribers. YouTube call this a sponsor. So for sponsoring on YouTube or subscribing on Twitch, uh, these are the options that you have here. So again, you can customize all of that stuff. And we also have user groups. So you can have whitelist, uh, text only, blacklist. So these are the things that you can sort of mess around with. You can have the enable speeches only for whitelisted people. Uh, you can blacklist people that aren't allowed to use speech, etc. And you can set this to users, moderators, subscribers, etc. here. If you want to add that layer of who can use what specific tool from speech chat. There we go. That is a brief overview of speech chat. Now, the way to get this working is just to open this when your stream is live and you will see that the bottom, the little red circle will turn to green. You just open this in your browser and it just runs in a separate browser while you're streaming. It's very simple to use. It's absolutely free. And I find it personally a very, very useful tool. And I'm hoping some of you guys will too. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful. Please do remember to subscribe here at All Creator Tools. It really does help us out a massive amount and we really do appreciate it. And we look forward to bringing you more tools in the future. Thank you guys for watching and remember to always have fun creating.